full house today. Mmm. 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 Oh no, it fell over. Alright, back to the KX250F revival because I don't know how to do things. So, with this one, I figured out. Well, actually, I didn't figure out. I just figured a Dremel would probably work. So I went out and bought a Dremel. And it's definitely getting the job done. But definitely doing... I've also never used a Dremel in my life. But I got this side out. A little bit of collateral damage. But, um... Yeah. A little more than I would like. But I did get it out. Yeah, well, I'm probably just going to sand it up and then hopefully the other bearing still fits in there. I'm hoping that that works. But hopefully I go a little bit lighter on this one and I don't even make that mistake to begin with. And then we can finally get this damn dirt bike together. Collateral damage more than I would like, but sanded it down. Hopefully the bearing goes in. I guess time will tell. But here they are, McFancy bearings. As far as I know, all set to go. Thanks to the Dremel. Thousand and four projects, as always. I don't know, because I still want to rebuild the top end. I still have the steering stem bearing that I need to do. And then I want to throw it back together, but I don't know if I should throw it back together now and then deal with that stuff later. Because I'm at the shop anyway. So. I don't know. Because I could at least throw the rear shock and everything on. Get that on wheels. So in case people need to move the bike around. If they can if they need to. I don't know. I mean it does run. I don't have to do the top end just now. I can go riding. But I'd like to just get it all set and done with. So I can just hop on it and be done with it for the next like couple months or at least until I break it which will probably be like the first weekend let's be real you wouldn't believe what I have to do to get you guys up and not falling down it's like more than a half a second worth of work which is too much for me kind of wish I could play tunes but you know YouTube doesn't like that so I'm gonna have to edit that in so I just have to play music in my head for the next uh, however long I'm staying here which fork is which? Look at those fancy new stickers. DC3 suspension. Hit them up. Now let's see. Apparently a neighbor fucking bumps. Should I put the shock in while bumping disco mans over there? And get copyrighted? Should I not do that? Should I make a montage myself? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Can't reach the fucking pool. Alright, well, my dumbass self decided to take the collar out of my swing arm bearing. And then I think I threw it away because I'm dumb. Because the kit that I had didn't have the actual swing arm bearings, just the linkage. And I think I accidentally threw away my collar and spacer. So now I can't put my swing arm on, which means I can't put my rear wheel on. But. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could manage putting my front forks on, but then my bike's gonna fall off my stand, and that's kind of a lot of work. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just doing the top end today. 
quote unquote 61.4 hours on this bad boy. I put that in quotes because I don't remember if this is from my old bike, the hour meter, or if this is actually new. And I don't think I'm ever going to find out either. We're already off to a great start. I've already absolutely destroyed my brake line connection. I mean, gas line. Gas and brakes are kind of different, but... Yeah. I think I have to get the whole little assembly there now. I don't even know what part that is. But, uh... Apparently I need it because, uh... My thing fucking broke. And that is totally not cool. You know, I'm honestly getting to a point where I don't even like to do my own bike work. Maybe it's just because I haven't ridden in so long and I haven't had the urge to actually ride. But... Maybe that's also because I had to actually do bike work before doing that. No, I understand where people are coming from. Like, this is kind of boring. It sucks. I just want to ride it, kind of. Yeah, I think I want to ride it. Oh yeah, here we go. Slug on. Like half an hour in, skid plate comes off. Bolt seized inside. Bolt now is uh stuck stuck like a step sis he is a better look at the part that i fucking broke on the fuel line so we got whatever i don't know is that like another is that the injector i don't know what that is to be honest i think it's the injector so it must be maybe like a whole t-junction over here then so then i think this bolt we'll take it off and then i gotta replace that obviously yeah that sucks i would have rather not have broken that but it is what it is i guess got the throttle body off gotta take the top end off place the piston the rings check out the condition of the cylinder see if the bottom ends toast it probably is after how today's going so i guess we'll find out Moment of truth, this is. Is the valve train fucked? E1013, whatever the fuck that means. Does unlock terrible. I don't know. Guess we'll take some measurements and see if it's actually fucked. Yeah, um, don't worry about the dirt, that's from, uh, after the fact, but piston looks pretty clean, if you ask me, obviously it's all still silver, and not ready to go, no carbon anywhere, looks pretty solid, dirt is just for extra carbon protection, um, couldn't tell you what the cylinder looks like yet, but, yeah. Not too shabby. Thing looks brand new. Could run it again for another 300 hours. Echo 1, this is to Alpha Eagle fucking 1219. We've got an extraction mission. There seems to be a dowel pin stuck in enemy territory. Uh, it's gonna have to be removed or taken out. Uh, over. <laughs> Roger that. Uh, Echo fucking four five nine seven. Uh, yeah, should probably take that out. All right, Roger that on it. I don't know if you really want to try to record during this operation because it's gonna cause a lot more fucking work. I think I'm just gonna try it anyway. Got a clear view now. All right, love to see it. All right. So, my idea is copper wire, and I'm going to take my snaking skills from electrical and get this fucking dowel pin out of my engine. Look at that! New an electrician will come in handy one day. to uh, 
Get that the fuck out. There we go. Oh yeah. No reason for concern. Look at that. Take it back. Bitch. Uh, cylinder could use a nice old scotch bright, but I mean, the rest of it still looks pretty solid. Haven't actually looked yet, but seems like there's still a lot of cross hatching, so that's good. Yeah, after that, I just went to shit. Everything kept breaking, had to go order parts, but that was the end of my day. And then my van wouldn't start, so I had to work on that as well. But waiting on the parts to come in, then I'll get the top end and all that finished. Swing arm, done, done, so we'll be back riding again.